care about me. You don't care how I think or feel. You know nothing what it's like to be 14. Oh, I need that gun. You want to see what's in the bag? Oh, not through the bag. Not through the bag at her mom. Not a pregnancy test. Oh my god. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So today we're going to be doing another episode of Watching the Grassy Junior High. We are on season one, episode 11, titled It's Late, with an exclamation point. Um, I kind of already know what this episode is about because y'all be like telling me. And honestly, I don't mind spoilers. Like, honestly, I really don't. Spoilers never bother me. I can literally go, I'll be in the middle of watching a movie on Netflix. I'll go on his Wikipedia page, read the plot, find out the ending, and still watch it. Like, spoilers doesn't bother me. So I really kind of already know what this episode is about but i'm still excited to see it anyway so let's get into it um before we do though hi you should subscribe down below if you do i will cash up you 10 cents i know that's a lot of money so if you subscribe let me know down in the comments below post your cash app or no don't post it because somebody might try to hack it message me on instagram or twitter at unusually eric when you subscribe give me a cash app and i will send you 10 cents Give me time though, like don't expect it as soon as you send it to me, just like send me the cash app and then wait three to five business days and then you will get your 10 cents, I promise. Just kidding, I don't promise. But you know what, whatever, just subscribe, like hit the bell so you can be notified when I post and yeah, everything will be smooth and easy because that's what this channel is about, smooth and easy content. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> hey Shane, my man. Guys. What's the matter? Can't we all share? <laughs> so, we all knew that Emma's dad is Shane, but like we haven't seen him in junior high yet. This is my first time seeing Shane, I believe. So, interesting. If you've got a boyfriend, you can go out and date. Hi, Snake. Hi, Melanie. Oh my god, Snake, same voice. Snake has the same voice as he does in TNG. It's so wild. You like Melanie? Yeah, sort of. I like to ask her out. So ask her. Oh, you got a little crush. Why wow, Melanie, though? Melanie is not, like, my fave. Yik and Vula, though, that would be cute. Oh, my two faves being in a relationship. Let's make that happen. Spike's hair really bothers me. I get it, it's the 80s, but come on, sis. Like, it's literally bedhead. <laughs> My period's way late. It's always been on time before. I think I'm pregnant. Why did I think she was in high school when this happened, though? I didn't know this happened in junior high. And isn't she in, she's the eighth grade class? I don't know what class she's in. We don't really see that much of Spike. That's why I'm confused a little. I don't know if she's in seventh or eighth grade. I think she's in eighth. Do you have morning sickness? Not yet. If it's the first time, you're okay. You can't get pregnant the first time. Yes, you can, sis. I don't know if that's true. Of course it is. Everyone knows that. That's why you shouldn't be having sex this young if you don't know that you can definitely get pregnant the first time. <laughs> Happens to so many people. It's crazy. I don't think I knew any pregnant girls in middle school. High school, definitely. Ninth grade, freshman year, knew a lot of them. But middle school, trying to think back, I don't remember seeing a lot of or any pregnant girls. Hi, Mom. Hi, Christine. Honey, look, I'm sorry for being so snappy with you this morning. So her mom did hair too. That's why Spike ended up doing hair. That's cute. Some friends and I were talking and someone said you couldn't get pregnant the first time you had sex. You want to bet? They say one in five girls gets pregnant the first time. The fact that she actually keeps her baby, oh my god. Icon. Like honestly, Spike is a legend. Let's put some respect on Spike's name. Like mother of all the grassy mothers. Like she started it, period. Okay, one more practice. Okay. Your eyes are so blue. They remind me of swimming pools. Why y'all all up in a freaking conversation? Like, back up. Like, honestly, I feel like they need to back up. <laughs> like, they really making me mad. I don't know why I just got so mad off that. But, like, they all up in a conversation. It's an A-B conversation. C-O-A out. Before I 
what's the rest of it? It's an AB conversation, so see your way out before I... I think that's it. <laughs> I don't think there's more to that. Your eyes are so blue, they seem like pimming tools. I mean, um, pimming tools? <laughs> what? <laughs> Aww, don't do him like that. Oh my god. Broomhead? Why do they keep calling each other broomheads? That's so funny to me. I'm gonna start calling people broomheads. I'm gonna text that to my mom. I'm gonna call my mom a broomhead to see what she says. She might get mad, but I don't care. She's old. I think I'm gonna have a baby. This is a joke, right? No. Ew, ew, the way he walked off, like she literally told him that he had, like she literally, like, he literally walked off like she just got bit by a walker on The Walking Dead or like she just said, oh, I have COVID and he just backed up all slow. Like she literally, she told you she might be pregnant, not that she has like a freaking contagious disease. Like, bruh, why must dudes not be shit? I love thee to the depth and breadth and height. Ew. Ew. By sun and candlelight. And Joey's gonna get his ass involved. Everybody's about to get their ass involved. Ew. Ew, this is a mess. This is a mess. What would you guys do if you got someone pregnant? Spike's gonna have a baby? No, it's just a question, that's all. I mean, it wouldn't be the guy's problem, right? Well, it'd sort of be his baby too. First of all, I have so much to say about Shane. First of all, why does he look so much older than everybody, too? Would it, it wouldn't be the guy's fault. How do you think a baby is made? You put your thing in her thing, and it makes a baby. It's both of y'all's fault. I mean, both of y'all are responsible, equally as responsible. This is why you don't have sex when you're young, because you don't know what you're doing. Period. How's this supposed to work? He's got to talk to you if you give her one. They always give Yik and Arthur the B plots, like... I feel like they've been in every episode as like either a main plot or a B plot, typically always a B plot, but I mean, I'm not mad because I love the both of them together. They're just the best ever. I stand forever. I stand Arc, Arcyic, Art. What's a good stand name for them? Arthur and Yik. Ick. A Yik. A Yik. Arthic. I don't know. Spike. Hi. Coming to the clinic with you. I don't want to go to the clinic. Then we'll buy you a test from the drugstore. You gotta find out for sure. Go crazy if you don't. Anyway, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I feel like these girls only want to come to the clinic and only want to buy pregnancy tests for her just to be nosy. Like I feel like they're not even really concerned about like what's actually going on with her. I feel like they just want to know so they can tell other people. Nosy in other people's business. Be a friend. I'm sorry about what happened. To make it up to you, maybe we could go skating? We need a date? Yeah, sort of. How about Saturday morning? Yes, we love a Saturday morning date. Oh, We love a Saturday morning date. Frank didn't ask any questions. Well, see ya. Good luck. Tomorrow. Oh my god, this was like before self-checkout happened, so like she had to like actually go up and like scan it and see that this is like a child buying a pregnancy test. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Why is she walking around with the bag? Put the bag, put the pharmacy bag in your big bag so that no one can see it. Sis, come on now. I'm not hungry. I'm going to bed. Aren't you feeling well? I'm tired, that's all. Why does she have the bag just sitting there, sis? What's in the bag? Nothing. What are you hiding? Nothing. Well, come on, let me see it. No. Come back here, young lady. You don't care about me. You don't care how I think or feel. You know nothing what it's like to be 14. You want to see what's in the bag? Ooh. Not through the bag. Not through the bag at her mom. Not a pregnancy test. Oh my god. Sure you don't want me to come in with you? We've come a long 
kind of prefer to go alone. This is too much for me. It's too much. Shout out to her mom be, for being supportive though. Like, she's putting on a brave face because I know deep down inside she's probably like, oh my god, my daughter is 13, 14 and pregnant. Like, oh, I can imagine having a baby at 14. Like, of course I can't have one, but like, if I was a father to one, I just could not imagine 14 year old me with a baby. I can imagine 25, almost 26 year old me having a baby. By the way, my birthday. Is on it's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> my birthday is in 10 days of when I'm filming this. Today's the 19th. My birthday's on the 29th, so you know, go ahead and get my gifts ready. You know, I want a MacBook. I want a MacBook and I want another MacBook. <laughs> so I'll get it ready. Mom, I'm pregnant. That was so sudden. They couldn't give us a fade out. They just cut the black like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, we love 80s, you know, editing, we love it. Can't kill a baby. It's not a baby, it's only a fetus. It's alive, it's got rights. But what about my rights? I don't want to be a mother. I don't want to be a father, but an abortion. I don't like Shane because A, he he had like she had coronavirus when she told him that she was pregnant. B, he's all pro-life. When I just feel like, honestly, wait, what did he say? I missed it. It was just a little mistake. Sort of a big mistake. He said something about a little mistake and then he said big mistake. I don't know. I don't. All right, that is the end of season one, episode 11. Really liked the episode. I feel like season one of the Grassy Junior High hasn't had many misses. There was that one episode about the snake that I didn't like, that was boring. But other than that, season one has been really good. Honestly, did not think that Spike's pregnancy happened in junior high. I thought it happened in high, but this is a little surprising. Um, Shane, first time ever seeing Shane, I believe. He's kind of a fuck boy. But if I can remember correctly in TNG, Spike did say that, um, what's his name, Shane, he wanted to be a part of the baby's life, but his parents wouldn't let him. So maybe he does make a turnaround, but as of right now, kind of a fuckboy. Um, then we have Arthur and Yik, of course, my homies, my home skillets. They did their thing, whatever. They was trying to get that girl's attention, the one with the bang. We don't really care. And yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. So we have two more episodes of the Grassy Junior High left. So I am going to be doing the last two episodes in one video just to get season one done because I feel like I've been doing it for so long. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with the uploads, but y'all know it's hard working a full-time job and doing YouTube. I'm trying my best and being a parent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Oh my God, where's my Oscar? Like, where is it? I want it. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that great stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. Boom. Boom, boom, she pregnant, she pregnant, ayy.